Hey guys, Harry here, and we're back again for another day, another actual full day on the uh, on the pair. So we've got the profile set up that we showed in the last video yesterday with the uh, the gable profiles attached attached to the uh, bit of Tyler's lap. I was trying to show uh, one of my mates it uh, today, but uh, I don't think they were quite grasping how it works. But it is, it is a handy bit of kit. A lot of guys use the bit of wood, a bit like a, a T-square bit of wood that they've made, and then they clamp it to the block work. I find the only problem with that is you've got to unclamp the T-square. You've got to unclamp the T-square from the actual profile, and then unclamp the T-square from the block work to move it, whereas the pros of using the gable profiles, which slide through the uh, roofing lats, is that you just have to undo the gable uh, the uh, gable profile from the actual profile with an f-clamp and then slide it uh, slide it to where you want to move your profile to really really good i only had to set my profiles up once i checked them once uh, on each gable halfway through doing them a little bit of adjustment was needed probably where the line was pulling it a bit but i bet that was all that needed doing. The only reason I had to adjust it is because the brickwork below was a bit ropey. So, uh, on the other gable especially, this one wasn't too bad because I'd already put three course on it previous and and basically got it cut it in nice. But the other gable was a bit ropey, so uh, had a little bit of a little bit of magic to work on that one. So today we got the gobbo a bit wetter uh, because it's really hot today. As you can see, I'm wearing the uh, the sleeveless with my altered high vis that I've been high vis into a bit of a, into a bit of like a string of vest had my uh took the hard hat off today and put it on the scaffold and just had the uh my peak cap on covering the back of my neck I have it backwards just cover the back of my neck uh and then obviously I'm wearing glasses in the morning but after about 11 o'clock when we went for snap uh I switched over to the shades because it was getting really 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 uh really bright so I found it quite easy actually laying bricks with glasses on, with sunglasses on. I used to find it difficult, but after you get the hang of it, you just get accustomed. You're, after your eyes do about a course or so, you get used to having the glasses on, then you take them off. It feels so weird. But we're just using regular standard pick and dip today. Uh, obviously, I said the mortar was a bit wetter, and it helps a lot actually with getting, especially if you've got dry bricks and, um, and it's hot weather, you can get a nice spread across the wall, and, you've, and if you were. Uh, if you're not too concerned about you know filling the perp full every time and you've either got someone jointing or you're willing to do that extra bit of jointing up i found today that just putting less spread on the wall and angling it towards the back so if if you put a spread on the wall obviously standard pick and dip you're just trying to put a little spread on but especially with the long spread you can just angle your trowel on the back of your spread just as you've done your long spread just to minimize them droppings you shouldn't get too much cavity, uh, too many snots down your cavity. I know it is it's hard when we've got like radon trays and other lintels and stuff like that. And there is going to be a slight bit more mortar droppage. You know, you're not controlling your bed as much, obviously. But with the wet with the wet mortar, especially, I was, as you can see, I'm just picking a little bit up and I'm getting into a nice, nice little sausage spread down there every time. Uh, but yeah, it's probably not ideal using as gobble as wet as this for pick and dip, but the the bricks in themselves were, uh, were were very, very dry. So it's it was needed, really. It was needed today. I had no problems with the corners off the side of the profiles. That's another big bonus is that having the stabilizer on the top uh, makes makes just having makes just like, just range into your profile easier it doesn't want to move i knocked it a few times and it was completely solid i checked it a couple of times it didn't even move so very 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 uh, impressive and the one clamp set up at the bottom and then obviously the stabilizer at the top is a lot easier to set up than a two clamp set up there's just there's less trying to pull your profile about and uh you get a, a lot more true reading a lot better reading with the uh with the stabilizer on it's like a game changer so anyone who hasn't made a stabilizer yet out, either out of wood or using the gable profiles i highly recommend it really really good stuff but yeah uh getting the hang of the picking up a bit more now i'm trying to do as you can see i'm trying not to spin my body to turn my spread uh as i do every brick i'm trying to stay parallel to the wall instead of turning as you can see here 
I turn, but I'm trying to to limit that motion a little bit more. Uh, if you've seen, you know, bricklayers like uh, Collinson doing the pick and dip, he stands face onto the wall. I've tried that, and it's fucking awful. Cannot get, cannot. Get, it doesn't feel nice at all. It feels slower, but I suppose if you got used to it, it would be uh, it would be something that would be easier. Definitely easier. But I'm gonna have a few a bit more experimenting while uh, in these next couple of days on the house. I've got about. You'll not see it in this video because I'm gonna have to break this, this, uh, these clips into a few, uh, a few videos because I got about six, about six or seven, almost seven hundred bricks down today, um, uh, I'd, including the corners. I didn't really count the corners today, but that's what my estimate was. Uh, and uh, I got almost both gables up, packed up. At, start, we started jointing up at half two. End up getting off for about three o'clock because I thought, you know, I'm not, I want on price, so I thought, why am I killing myself? But, you know, it's uh, when you're on a day of work, you know, you've always got to try to cover your day of work, right? But if you were, uh, you know, if you're right with the people you're working with, they shouldn't, they shouldn't know what you do if, if they, and they won't put you on day of work if the, uh, if the, uh, knew they could make money off you on price because obviously a lot of brick barons do that. Obviously, they're making a lot of money off you when you're on price, so they won't put you on day of work if. They could make money off your own price, but I sometimes, you know, sometimes I work at half the speed when I'm on day work. But today I was just feeling all right, so I just worked to my natural pace. This is sort of maybe basically the same speed I would on price, but I was taking it pretty steady. But just because of the um, conditions and the type of work I was on, I managed to get a lot of bricks down. Uh, it all goes, it all goes in the booking at the end of the end of the week anyway. So it's uh, got a couple. Probably got another two days left on this house. Got got another day tomorrow. Get the rest of the other gable up five course. Back get all the back, all the back pillars up. Lintels on the back. Then after after Easter, probably going to be going uh, just finishing the front off. Lintels on and because it only needs a common common next to window formers. Lintels sat on and then they lift the scaffold. Very very easy. I do like these metal uh, German system scaffolds with the. Uh, hammer and pins holding them together I like that everything's at waist height just saves me a lot of stacking but I don't like that the uh, don't like the stability of them you know it's you can trip over them quite easy them them uh, those little platforms can flick up if they haven't got the right you know restraint on them which obviously all the scaffolds are on price so then they always fucking cut corners but yeah uh, highly recommend anyone to if they haven't started doing pick and dip yet start doing it it's an absolute game changer when it comes to speed and effort you know there's just get yourself a 10 inch trowel philadelphia london brick whichever you fancy just have a go just have a go and just you know it's tough i've only been doing picking and dipping for about four months uh, probably not even four months but i think it was trying to, from since february i've been picking and dipping so and we're now in March, April. So we've only been doing it two, two, two or three months messing about and speed's come on tremendously with a lot less effort. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to make a part two and three to this video because I've got a lot of footage. So I've got some long spread variants coming up I'm going to explain more about. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye.